Rough Night is a very familiar movie. It is a comedy movie about a group of old college friends, one of whom is getting married again, and they gather together to have a hen party weekend before she gets married. There is some adult strife going on as this woman, played by Scarlett Johansson, is running for office and is having a bit of a tough time of it. Each of the women are given a sort of small backstory, a little something that needs to be resolved later on in the movie, and I really hope that they manage to get this resolved, because who knows what will happen. So basically, they go on their wild night out. Uh, along their wild night out, they have some fun, some frolics, and they accidentally kill a stripper, as you do on these type of things. And they try to cover it up, they try to get rid of the body, it keeps coming back to them like a bad penny. They try to solve a kind of robbery, murder, mystery type of thing that happens as well near the end as they get caught up with these gangsters and things and everything just ties itself up in a neat little bow at the end of it and everything is resolved. They've had personal breakthroughs, they've solved all their life crisis and they are just better people for having this hen weekend. While watching Rough Night, I had a kind of deja vu feeling going on. It reminded me of a few movies. So, very blatantly, it reminds me of The Hangover. It's typical to that kind of movie. The guys go away, have a wild night, the girls in this one, and things just get a bit out of hand. So it's got that going for it. It also reminded me very much of Very Bad Things, a movie directed by Jon Favreau that starred Christian Slater that came out in the late 90s. And again, that was about a group of people having a wild weekend when they accidentally kill a stripper. So that part of there makes up another part of the movie. And the third movie that it really reminded me of was Weekend at Bernie's, one from the 80s, where these two guys discover their boss dead and have him carried about pretending that he's still alive and they do that later on in the movie with the dead stripper that they have. Basically what I'm saying is there's not much originality about this movie and that's kind of what kills it. There are some genuine laughs in it, not many and most of them in my opinion came from Kate McKinnon who is just that off-kilter weird that just makes her stand out ever so much. You're either going to like that kind of humour or hate it. I kind of liked it, but I was looking to latch on to something I was going to like about this movie to make it kind of worth my while watching, and there's not much to really grab onto. Apart from the story being derivative, it looks fine. The actors do what they do, the plot is not really out of this world. You can see how it's going to resolve itself, you can see how things are going to continue, and you can even tell how some of the jokes are going to play out later on, but yeah, some of them do hit, and some of the characters are kind of funny. But this isn't going to be a long-lasting affair. This isn't going to be a movie that sticks with you moments after you've seen it. It'll be a fleeting experience. I gave Rough Night 2 out of 5. Like I said, I feel as if it was derivative of other material that was way better than this. So surely when you're robbing those kind of movies for your ideas, you're going to take some of the best jokes with you. And they don't. They take the kind of subpar ones and try to repurpose them into this movie. And it never quite works. The actors are all doing fine, but you can kind of tell that they're all just cashing a paycheck and it doesn't feel as fresh or as funny as it possibly should. I think Rough Night was a bit of a botched entry to be fair, it's not something I would thoroughly recommend. Although comedy is subjective and with a group of friends you may have some fun with it, although I wouldn't hold myself out for that. Have you seen Rough Night? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you think I'm being a little bit too harsh on it or do you think I'm being a little bit too soft and I should be more derivative towards it. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man Versus Film.